and things are already falling out of the sky too. Yes, that's right. In the Logan Mountains and the Uinta Mountains, especially very, very high considerable avalanche danger. It's still pretty high in the Wasatch. We'll keep an eye on it though. Hey, we have some uh, folks out there enjoying the day today. Temperatures actually warmed up a little bit. Unfortunately, the rain was falling. Some spots picking up anywhere from a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of rain. Had some reports from the uh, Eden area and also Weber Canyon. For some reason, that spot picked up as much as three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain. And we had, oh, about three inches of snow on top of Mount Ben Lomond and three inches of snow at Alta. Now, before the rain moved in yesterday, beautiful picture that Terry took of Mount Nebo. Look at the inversion in the valley. That's the kind of thing we've been dealing with. But with the rain and the precipitation, things are beginning to clear out just a little bit. Now, Bill took this picture in Arches National Park looking at the LaSalle Mountains. We have a 162% of normal snowpack in the LaSalle Mountains. Incredible. Compared to last year, it was a bomb last year. We didn't have anywhere close to this. 36 in Logan, Ogden is 39, 38 in Salt Lake, and 34 in Provo, negating the possibility of snow tonight. Now, precipitation amounts variable, but as I mentioned, Eden picking up nearly three quarters of an inch of water, Bountiful 0.19. But look at these temperatures in southern Utah. It's a tale of two different cities. Cedar City, 55. Logan, a quarter of an inch of rain and 35. Quite a bit of difference. Montpelier, Idaho, 38 for a high. Provo, 36. Salt Lake, 40. And Vernal still stuck in the ver inversion in the Uinta Basin with a high of 24. Let's go to Vortex. And yes, Vortex is picking up the precipitation coming in from the northwest. It looks like it's petering out just a little bit right now, but let's get right in close at Provo. You can see there is rain. The snow level is about six to 7,000 feet, but it's coming down. It'll be uh, near the bench levels by morning, but there's not a lot of precipitation. It'll be left over, just some showers tomorrow. So we'll call it rain and snow showers, moving mostly east now of Centerville and east of Ogden. So uh, improving weather just a little bit. And we're getting some showers around Tony Grove as well. Big picture, lots and lots of moisture. Look at this stream of moisture coming all the way from the Pacific and down into the tropics. It's that stream of moisture that's coming over the top on another storm system that will be forming colder storm with plenty of moisture that will be here on Wednesday. So here's the flow tonight. We still have those light showers out there. Additional showers still coming in. Very moist flow tomorrow. So some scattered showers, rain and snow showers. Here's where the cold front is. Yes, it's right on top of us, so slightly colder again tomorrow. Uh, maps will go into motion and show you the showers again tomorrow, tomorrow night. There's, the, there's another front coming in, but we'll get a little break on Tuesday. Look what happens Wednesday. Look at this storm developing Wednesday, right on top of us, Tuesday night, Wednesday. So we're going to see some snow Tuesday night and Wednesday. Eastern Utah. Chance for those showers and cold weather again in the basin, still stuck in the inversion, breaking the inversion a bit across the south. Some showers across central Utah in the morning, but southern Utah, again, a delightful day. Next seven days, though, a big change. I put a few, a few showers in there Wednesday. This is a big change, folks. Looks like the storm is going to move south and bring you some showers. In the morning, some occasional rain showers. They're petering out a bit in the afternoon, so we'll call for a slight chance. High temperatures are going to be in the low 40s tomorrow. We get the break on probably a pretty good day on Tuesday. Tuesday night and Wednesday snow. Colder on Thursday, a little snow Friday, a little snow Sunday. Now, I'm going, I'm looking at the computer charts. I'm looking at the Canadian models. I'm looking at the European models, comparing them with the United States models. <laughs> I'm a true meteorologist, and I'm going a little bit against... Uh, the folks at the, I won't say where. It is, it is January and there's yeah. snow in the forecast. It looks a little more unsettled than some might think. All right. Thank Just you, Just warning. European models. <laughs> yeah, European, European model, yeah. Canadian. Thank yep. you, sir. <laughs>